Welcome to the world of Samsung Security, your easy, reliable, superior solution to keep your home or business secure. No one else delivers a high quality security experience like Samsung. Follow along with the quick and easy steps for the express startup of your Samsung security system. Here we will discuss the basics of your system including item checklist, camera mounting, plug and play installation, system setup, remote access, and product registration. For a more detailed install and setup, consult your system manual. Let's begin. Let's quickly review all the included components for your Samsung security system. In your box, you should have a 22-inch monitor, monitor base, four cameras, a power cable, two AAA batteries, the network setup guide, VGA cable, an ethernet cable, user manual, four camera brackets, four camera extension cables, quick guide, remote control, and a mouse. Now that you're familiar with the parts, we can go over how to mount your cameras. First, screw the cameras to the camera brackets. Once that is complete, mount the camera brackets to the locations where you want the cameras positioned. Connect the camera extension cable to the camera and to the back of the LCD monitor. There are many wire management products on the market that you can use to conceal the wires. Next, we'll review the simple plug and play installation hookups. Connect the Ethernet wire to the network port on the back of the monitor and either to your broadband modem or to the WAN port on your wireless router or hub. Connect your mouse to one of the USB ports on the right side of the monitor. Finally, Connect the AC adapter to the monitor and plug it into your power source. If your system was installed correctly, you will see your live camera feeds as well as the virtual keyboard login. Your virtual keyboard will be set to the default user ID of admin. Using your mouse or remote control, enter the default password of 4321 and click enter. This bar will disappear when you are not using it. But don't worry, you can access it at any time by moving your cursor to the bottom of the screen. On the navigation menu bar, you will find the system power button, the date and time, the menu icon, backup icon, search icon, display icon, PTZ icon, zoom icon, instant record icon, remote network status, hard drive status, and overwrite icons. Click the menu icon. This will bring up your setup box where you can access both your system and record setup options. Click System Setup. For security purposes, you will be asked to log in again. Don't forget your default user ID of admin and the default password of 4321. Click Enter. You now have access to your system setup bar. Your system setup bar includes the system setup icon, camera setup icon, display setup icon, sound setup icon, user setup icon, network setup icon, event sensor setup icon, and disk management icon. Click the system setup icon. Here you can set the date and time, manage system preferences, and assign remote controls. Consult your system manual for more detailed setup information. For now, set your date and time by clicking the date time icon. In the date box, set the correct date and time by clicking each number and using the up and down arrow keys. Cycle through the options using the up and down arrow keys until you find your preferred date display. The time format box lets you choose between AM, PM and 24 hour time display. Use the up and down arrow keys to choose. You can easily sync your date and time to your network by clicking the sync button on the network time server setup box. Use the arrow keys to set your time zone under the time zone setup box and adjust the daylight savings time option with the arrow keys under the DST box. Please note, the Samsung security system will not automatically adjust daylight savings time unless you are synced to your network. When you are finished, be sure to click the apply button at the bottom of the screen. Throughout this setup process, be sure to always click the apply button or your changes will not save. After you click the apply button, the close button will bring you back to the system setup bar. Next, click the camera setup icon. Here you can change the title of your cameras, modify color options, and set up the motion sensor features. To change the title of your cameras, click the camera box. Under the title column, double click the default title Cam1 to bring up your virtual keyboard. Enter the new camera title using up to eight characters and click enter. Repeat these steps to change all of your camera titles.
When you are finished, remember to click the Apply button at the bottom of the screen. Now, let's set your camera motion sensors. Start by clicking the Motion Sensor box, then go to Channel 1 Area Setup. You'll see a live feed from your Channel 1 camera covered in yellow motion detection boxes. Any detected motion within these boxes will trigger an event and activate that camera's record function. You can customize the motion box field. Start by right-clicking the mouse and choosing Deselect All. This clears your motion box field. Set your own field using the left mouse button. Click and drag to cover bigger areas. Of course, you can set the entire field by simply right-clicking and choosing Select All. When you are finished, right-click, select Save, and Exit. Apply all changes and select Close. Next, we will assign users. Click the User icon on the System Setup bar. Start by clicking User Authority. Here you can decide how much access a manager or user has. Checking a box grants access to that section. This allows multiple users to be able to use your system while still restricting access. Under User Management, you can add multiple users with different permissions to your system. To add a user, click Add at the bottom of the screen. Double-click the User ID box to bring up the virtual keyboard. Enter an ID and hit Enter. Enter and confirm a password. Using the arrow keys, select the new user's permissions. And if you want the new user to receive email notifications, enter an email address and turn the email on. Click Apply to save all changes, then close. Now select the network icon on the system setup bar. In order to proceed, you first need to acquire a static IP address from your internet provider. Once that is acquired, go to your computer and click Start. Open the control panel and network connections. The network connection should appear. Select local area connection and right click on it. Select properties. The local area connection properties window will appear. Select internet protocol, TCP IP and click the properties button. Select obtain an IP address automatically and obtain DNS server address automatically. Write down the IP address, subnet mask, default gate, preferred DNS server, and alternate DNS server. Click the OK button to finish the setup. Return to your system and enter your IP address, gateway, subnet mask, first DNS server and second DNS server information and click Apply. Now select the email button on the left and enter in all your email information. Don't forget to click Apply when you're finished. Close out the network box and return to the system setup bar. Next. Click the Event Sensor icon and go to Email Notification. Here you can set what triggered events will send you email notifications. That completes your basic system setup. Simple and easy. You can access your security system 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, using the Anytime, Anywhere remote monitoring feature. Just go to your internet application on your computer or smartphone device. Enter your static IP address in the URL bar. You will be asked your username and password. Once entered, you have access to your system. And while you're on the internet, take a minute to fill out the online registration form. Just visit samsungsv.com. For more information on any of the steps we covered, consult the user manual, visit the website, or call 877-349-3149 for tech support. Samsung.